Hernandez. Okay. My name is Luis Hernandez, President of the Mexico Manufacturing Council. Luis, what's your visit to Reynosa been like? Uh, very good, very good. I mean, the, the last time I was in Reynosa was like 10 years ago. Uh, it is a good footprint, uh, good manufacturing footprint that you have here. Uh, we're uh, what we're feeling right now is that there is a lot coming in because of the growth that the east of the U.S. is getting. So we'll see more and more investment coming through the area and the region. A lot of the nearshoring is happening in Nuevo León, not Tamaulipas. Any explanation for that? Situation is a lot. Nuevo León has less industry than Tamaulipas, so we need to put the things in perspective. Okay, so having Tesla going there, a lot of the suppliers are here. Okay, so we need to focus on what we have, not what we don't have, okay? So Leon is one of the states that has the smallest border. So you and Tamaulipas have the largest borders yeah, through Mexico. So what we need to see is if they're coming here, a lot of the investment suppliers will be given by uh, industries here in Reynosa, industries in Nuevo Laredo, industries in Matamoros. So what we see right now is kind of a game changer in Leon, in Nuevo Leon, but it is not a game changer in, in Tamaulipas so far. What are the big challenges for the maquiladora industry in Mexico right now? I would say the one of the big challenges is that we need to move from the main maquiladora to a manufacturing entity. We are a manufacturing entity. A lot of the footprint that we have in Mexico is coming from the U.S., almost 80% of it. The largest challenges that we have will be maybe isolated to three of them. Energy, that we don't have energy. As a result of not having energy or electricity, you want to call it, we don't have uh, space to grow. And the third one will be, it is just how are we going to handle the USMCA without these two uh, issues that, w that, that we have or, or problems that we have because nearshoring won't be here forever. We nearshoring will be here two or three years at the most. So we need to take advantage of it. What's going to happen after those two or three years? Uh, everything will be reconfigu reconfigured. Okay, so once it, there's a new configuration, there's a new economy, there's a new industry, new talent. So we need to be on top of it so we can make things uh, work for us. So I've asked you the challenges. What about the successes that your industry's had? Okay, the success I would say is there is a lot of automotive knowledge here, a lot of talent. Okay, one of the biggest successes that we have as Mexico is being so uh, few companies, 6,000 companies in Mexico, we provide 62% of the export for Mexico. Okay, so that is a lot. If you take the tax IDs for Mexico, we're not even 0.50%, 0.05%, okay, not even 1%. So that tells you that a small part of the population is giving you a lot of contribution or a lot of taxes there. That is one. The second one is every single day we're paying around $140 million in salaries every single day. So we need to take that into advantage because the talent is here right now. And I would say that the biggest uh, advantage that we have is we are in several industries. We have uh, a, a, treat, a treaty that is very interesting. It was a NAFTA before, right now it's a USMCA. USMCA, one of the biggest uh, gains for Mexico is that every single minute Mexico is trading $900,000, okay? So every single minute trading $100,000, that makes a change. Last question, do you think the people of Mexico understand just how important your industry is? Yes, they do. That is why we're here, we'll be here, and we'll, be con we'll continue telling them after the 40 years we have been telling them that we're, in, we're an important industry. And as well, that is why we open an uh, office in Washington, because we are seeing that we need to have a footprint in the U.S. and we need to have footprint as well. Uh, Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, thank you for the interview, I will be around. Thank you. Thank you.